Hey, what is going on guys? Dopesletter930 here, and due to popular demand and a lot of requests, I'm going to be showing you guys Repetier Host and some of my settings and things like that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is configure your printer. Um, I've got two printers, or I mean I've got a CNC machine and my 3D printer, but they both show up um, similarly. Um, basically, COM16 is going to be my uh, CNC machine, while COM13 is going to be my... Uh, 3d printer so right now I have it on my CNC machine Then you've got baud rate which uh, has something to do with the speed I believe of the transfer protocol let me actually look up just so you're here so we can see what is baud rate okay so baud rate is the rate at which information is transferred in the communication channel in the serial port context 9600 baud means that the serial port is capable of transferring a maximum of 9600 bits per second so what determines the baud rate? I'm not actually sure if that's the chipset or I would imagine that's something to do with the chipset on board on what's powering your machine. Um, so on my CNC machine, I know it's this right here, 250,000. Um, and on my DaVinci, it's 230,400. Um, if you don't have the right baud rate set, usually your uh, printer or your CNC machine or whatever, we're talking about printers here, it won't respond. Um, so on the DaVinci 1.0, I believe it's all going to be, um, or on the DaVinci's in general, I believe they're 230,400. One easy way to find out what yours is, is if you have Repetier Host flashed, all you're going to do is on your machine, click the right arrow, and you're going to scroll down, so I'm doing it right now so I can show you guys, scroll all the way down to settings. And then on settings, you're going to scroll down, 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 down. On the very bottom, it'll say baud rate. And so, again, my baud rate says 230,400. So that matches up with, um, again, the one right here. But right now, um, I have it hooked up to my CNC machine. So that's what I'm going to leave it on is uh, COM16 and 250,000. If you don't know which COM port your um, computer, your, I mean, your 3D printer is hooked up on, one easy way to find out would be to simply go under your control panel. Go under, let me pull it over here, um, control panel, then we're going to go under hardware and sound, devices and printers, <clears throat> Oop, screwing things up here, and where are you, Ooh, device manager, why do I not see you, um, 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 um. well let's just go back, I don't know why, normally I see device manager, so we'll just do it this way, device, manager oh there we go I saw it right there so if you go under device manager you go down to ports common LPT all you'd have to do is unplug so I'll just go ahead and unplug and you saw com 16 disappear down here so I know that it was com 16 if I plug it back in com 16 is back right there so that's how you can check so I get a lot of questions about my printing temperatures and settings when I'm printing with like PLA for example. Let me go ahead and reconnect. Um, so yeah, basically I have been only printing with PLA for the last three or four months and I told you guys my settings for that are 195 um, for the extruder and zero for the bed temperature. I don't have any temperature set on the bed. So basically the way I do it is I go under slicer, let's go ahead and load a 3D object just to show you guys. We'll do something small, we'll do switch. Okay, so I've got this little guy right here. And I'm going to go under my slicer, which again, I've been using Cura Engine. Now you can go under manager and or configuration and actually adjust um, the default temperatures and whatnot. But I haven't been doing that. I've been just straight up messing with the G-code. So like for example, if I am going to print this out, I'll go slice with Cura Engine. Okay, I've got my sliced object ready to be printed. I go under my G-code editor, and under my G-code editor, I'll go right here, and the M190 is going to be your bed temperature. So I'll just change that to zero because, again, I don't use any bed temperature for printing PLA. And these two right here, the two tens, I'll change that to 195. So basically, that is going to be meaning my bed temperature is zero, um, and 195 is, you know, the temperature I'm using for my extruder. Now, I don't 100% remember what I used to use when I did print with ABS, which does need a heated bed, but I'm almost positive that I used 95 for the bed temperature and 235 for 
um, for the extruder because it has to be hotter when you're using ABS. Again, I know that not every machine is going to print exactly right. You'll have to find the sweet spot, but that's at least a good range for where you can start at. Um, the bed may be a little bit lower um, or even a little bit higher. And same with um, the extruder. Maybe you want to do 230, 225, or 240, just depending on what gives you the best results. It's all a numbers game. And again, I, I feel like even if you have the same machine as me, it, there's a chance that you might get a little bit better of a print with uh, a little bit lower or a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's really it. Um, you've got a couple different slicer options again. You've got slicer. Um, I don't know why I've been using Cura Engine. I think it was before when I was printing with supports. I just got better results using Cura Engine than slicer for whatever reasoning. Um, but if you are not on, um, if you're not on Windows, I don't think Cura Engine is for Mac. So you'd have to use slicer. But you pretty much do the same kind of deal. Let me um, let me try to slice it with slicer and see what the G code looks like. Generated G code not found. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, let me see, printer settings. Okay, so let me go to G code editor again. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty much the same thing. So again, the bed temperature, you just alter right here. Um, the set temperature would be, I believe this is gonna be for the extruder and this is also going to be the extruder, so you do the same thing. So like for the PLA again, you basically change this one, so I just backspace to zero, change these two to 195, 195, and then you would hit essentially start print and be ready to rock and roll. So that's really it guys. Um, I don't tweak with it too much. That's, you know, again, I've got my PLA dialed in and that's what I've been printing with, so I'm super happy with my results. Um, Again, I don't claim to be any kind of a guru with 3D printers, if you will. I've been using mine for about three or four months now. God, five months, I guess. Pretty heavily. So um, this is what works for me. I don't, I'm i still learning G-Code. Um, I have a lot to learn, especially now that I have a CNC machine. I feel like it looks like I'm going to have to learn the G-Code you know, a little bit even more so than I have to know it with the 3D printer. Um, but yeah, this is what works for me. And I get a lot of requests of people just asking me to show them inside of Repetti Your Host. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. And if not, hopefully other people that knows will be able to answer. But um, hopefully this was useful. And if it was, don't forget to hit the like button and share and all that good stuff. And um, you know, subscribe for more great videos. Thank you all for watching. As always, Dope Center 930 and I am out. Peace, guys.